Hello friends, this is Jasu Bakuhatsu once again, bringing you some more Let's Play Super Talking Time Brothers 2, the last level. So, uh, the business at hand here is we're basically just uh, going back through the game and just fi finishing up all the s stars that we missed on the right-hand path before going back and starting on the left path. So as you can see, we missed one in Airship Graveyard and another in Sushi Samba. Really looking forward to playing that one again. Uh, so th this is not going to be just an hour-long failure fest where I just s stroll along through the levels back and forth, looking, sounding befuddled the entire time. Uh, I, I did locate um, all of these missing stars off camera. I know where they're... I, I located but did not collect them, so you'll have, I guess, the fun of seeing me actually get the star and not just jump into a place where the star would be, if that's important to you. Uh, but yeah, th this star in particular was actually... I feel kind of dumb for missing it. I, I actually noticed the clue that I was missing uh, just uh, reviewing the my recording of this level. You may notice, uh, I don't think I mentioned it, but I did notice it during the playthrough that yeah, there's sort of this uh, railing in the background along most of the level, and then the places where there isn't any railing it indicates where the platforms are going to fall. So that, that's like a good little level design bit shows you where the platforms are. And you notice there's no railing here if the platform doesn't fall, but it does fall if you go forward like that. You saw right there in the just a for like a little tiny bit of the corner of the screen, you could see the platform falling down there. And I, I, I saw that on my uh, recording of my playthrough of this level. So yeah, that was, yeah, the clues were there. I just completely missed it. And I don't care that I died there. I wanted to die anyway to exit the level. So yeah, that, that was a good hidden star. I just uh, missed it because I guess I, I just didn't think much of the clue that was there in front of me. So, Sushi Samba, you might have to see me suffer. Th this one, I did not think that this was a particularly good hidden star. When I, I actually, I was not able to find this one on my own. I had to open up the editor, and when I saw the solution, I was just kind of... I, I, I don't know, I don't... Unless I'm still missing something, it didn't seem like there was any clue as to where it is. So I, I'm going to have to play through quite a bit of this level, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, the it's the hidden star is going to be after the checkpoint. And I, is this the checkpoint up here? Thank God. Okay, so the secret star is going to be coming up here. Uh, yeah, like I said, worst secret star in the game so far, in my opinion. Actually, I hope I'm going to remember where it is. So it's... Yeah. I think it's coming up right away. Ba basically, you just kind of have... It's a... You kind of have to risk death. Although, I guess, now that looking at it now, there are no bottomless pits in this section of the level. So it's maybe not too risky to do it. So right, right here is, is your hint. You can actually go through here, and if you fall down... Not death, but a pipe. And I, I don't think... I'm pretty sure you can't see that pipe from that platform up there. So it's just... you got to make a total leap of faith there. That's not... Clued whatsoever. And I guess I did actually... Get this one? Or maybe there's something down here. I, I actually didn't... Like I said, I didn't actually find the star. I looked it up in the level editor. So I guess there's some... There's more to it still. So yeah, I guess a fun challenge here could redeem it. Um, I'm guessing maybe it's just kill an enemy or something at the bottom of this shaft. Though I might have accidentally screwed with the level in the editor. Okay, yeah, that switch. And, oh yay, now we got fish to deal with, and presumably... That revealed our hidden star. Actually, this isn't too annoying. When they're just going, like, straight up. So yeah, I, I think this would maybe be... It, they so could have sort of done, like, a variation on the cheap, cheap levels, where they're just going straight up and straight down 
and falling from the ceiling. That 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 would have been maybe like a good way to do a variation on the standard cheap cheap level and make it kind of less irritating. But yeah, so that was that. And actually, I was mentioning how it's oh, and that takes you right to the end of the level too. So yeah, that's not the greatest hidden star there in my opinion. Uh, it's basically just a blind leap off a cliff that you kind of just have to hope that you don't die there. Although, like I said, there are no other bottomless pits in that section of the level, so it's uh, not the worst hidden star in the world. There were more irritating ones in Super Talking Time Brothers 2, but regardless, I'm just glad to be done with that level. And I can't quite remember... And yeah, th this one I also realized what it... what the... what the trick was once reviewing my uh, video of the level, and I actually feel really dumb now for uh, failing to figure out what it was. Um, it's in that first... it's exactly what I uh, suspected it was. You have to get through those... Uh, drop through those blocks in the second half of the level. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just sort of talk about that when I come to it. Uh, I I'm sure that some of you watching the video, uh, I, I sort of, like, point out separately exact, like, exactly what you need to do there. I just didn't put the pieces together. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna get come to that in just a moment here. There is... oh, I guess there's a... oh, yeah, it was right down this pipe. And then, so, yeah, there was... There was, you might recall, there were sort of two parts of this level that sort of befuddled me. There was those blocks down in the lower right. And then, I, yeah, I just sort of puzzled over that for a long time. It's like, what way is there to go through blocks without, uh, y you know, using the Yoshi Stomp? It's like, I have no idea how to do that. It's just a complete mystery. And, like, and, and on a completely separate... Oh man, I hope I don't die here. There is a checkpoint in this level. Okay, hopefully there's like a mushroom here. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this in a moment, and I'm just gonna, yeah, grab the checkpoint here to make sure that I don't die. Or that if I, rather, if I do die, that it won't be a complete disaster. Um, can I tail whip these guys? No. Oh well. Oops. That's bad. Okay. Anyways, so yeah. This is a really bad situation. I have no choice but to take a hit here. So yeah, I screwed that up badly. And so yeah, and then there was also this P-switch, which was like really weird. It's like, you grab the P-switch just to make that tiny little coin bridge to a stinking one-up. It's like, completely pointless. Why would they include this P-switch here? And on a completely separate and unrelated note, how the hell do I get through those blocks on the lower right of the stage? It's just a complete mystery. It's the hardest hidden star in the entire game. So yeah, obviously, <laughs> P-switch, turn the coin, turn the blocks into coins, and that's how you pass through here. Very simple, very obvious. I pointed out exactly, like, those the two different elements of the stage that... Or these aren't real blocks, so there's not going to be a mushroom in them. And yeah, I, I pointed out, like, what's with this P-switch, and what's with these blocks, and I just didn't put the pieces together. So yeah, that, that, that was a really good... Uh, this is a really good hidden star, in my opinion. Just sort of, yeah, like I said, any star where you just sort of end up sort of mulling over it and puzzling and then just feel kind of smart when the solution finally dawns on you. This was one of those kinds of stars, and I, I just, uh, yeah, really liked it as a result. So I actually haven't been to this area yet, I just kind of, like, I haven't actually gone and to where this star is hidden. I just, like I said, figured out how to do it just by uh, watching my own video, as I'm sure many of you also probably figured it out just by watching the video. So, oh, I don't want to die to this hedgehog. I mean, I do eventually want to die to this hedgehog so I can go back to the world map, but... Okay, so that's good. Now, just notice now we're running real low on lives here. Hope that doesn't become a problem going forward. And then, so... And yeah, you notice we're at 44 stars now. Uh, the... There's 45 on the entire right half of the game, so I guess we'll get another 45 on the other half. And, uh, yeah, I, th I think that it'll be 90 stars by the time we finish the end of the game, which is how many stars you need to 
open the final star door in the item room. Which is, yeah, neat. This hidden star, I spent quite a long time uh, trying to figure out off-camera. I th couldn't tell if I dropped frames there or not. I guess I just kind of stopped paying attention. Uh, yeah, this one, uh, there's like a lot of sort of things in this level that kind of stood out to me as far as where a hidden star might be located. And it was sort of... The place where it ended up being was in sort of the last place I thought to look. I believe it's after the checkpoint. We've got a fair bit of the level to go through before we come to that. Yeah, this level, not sure what else to say about it. Other than that, I'm playing it very, very badly. Okay, I actually think... I'm just gonna cut the video, and, uh, yeah, so yeah, when we, re when we return, um, I will be at where the hidden, hidden star is for this level. Okay, and we're back. Uh, this right here, I sort of pointed out as being a potential hidden star location. This is not, uh, where the hidden star is. The only thing that guy is hiding is a few cool power-ups, which, you know, cool power-ups... We'll go for them, take it, since we got the Fire Flower to make that easy for ourselves. And, oh yeah, the one-ups, or the three-up here, that I completely forgot about. We're in some desperate need of those, probably, for the second half of the game. Um, you know what, I, I like all my projectile weapons. And... There it is. This is it. I, that, it's, that was like the last place I thought to look for it. You stomp on Boom Boom and you go the other way, which is a bit... You, you wouldn't want to go that way, because if that's a dead end, he'll just run back and hit you. And I kind of actually want to finish this level normally now, just to maintain my Hammer Brothers suit. But yeah, that, that was a really well-hidden uh, hidden star, I think, because yeah, it's, it's kind of like... Okay, well, don't care about the Hammer Brothers suit anymore. So let's just die to exit this level. And so that that's the last of the hidden stars on the right-hand path through the game. Uh, and yeah, like I said, that was a, a good one. A well-hidden star. It was uh, well-clued. There was an obvious gap there on the right-hand side of the screen. And I guess uh, maybe just to get this out of the way here as well, I, I went and talked to all of the NPCs on the ship off-camera, and they sort of provided some interesting information for me. So apparently there are two entrances to the uh, hidden world in this game, the world of... or it's sort of like two worlds that, like like the main world map, merge together at the end, is what I'm picking up from the hints. And they said the one entrance was the world of random, random content, which I mentioned, and then the world of random discontent, whose entrance is apparently hidden on board... Uh, in, right here in the star base, and I'm assuming it's behind this 90 star door. And yeah, as I mentioned, 45 stars on the right-hand path, 40, if there's another 45 on the left-hand path, which, are, which there are, actually aren't if there's the same number of levels, because there were some shared levels at the end there. But anyways, yeah, so I'm assuming that we'll come into our hidden world here. And another interesting thing I discovered from a random NPC in the commons is that the left-hand path uh, through the game is apparently the more difficult one uh, so, yeah, I guess we have that to look forward to, so we might end up with more of a difficulty curve than I expected. So, yeah, that, that was just the last bit of business to take care of on the right-hand path, and... So apparently we have a bit more, some more challenging levels than we've experienced thus far, which is a bit scary to look forward to. But, uh, so yeah, that's the last bit of the right-hand path taken care of. And, uh, when we come back, uh, it's back to the beginning on the alternate path through the game. Uh, so, yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys next time.